Nick is on probation for assault. I'm on probation for a fight that was between Danielle and her mother, not me. There was a huge argument between Danielle and her mother about us using. And Danielle's mother ripped our room apart searching for drugs or paraphernalia. The argument got really intense between Danielle and her mother. They were pushing each other, pulling each other's hair, and I just stepped in the middle of both of them. He went into a rage because my mother asked him to get out of her house. Then Nick attempted to strangle my mother. I saw my mother's neck. She had red marks on her neck. The next day, her mother went to the police station and filed charges against me. That's complete <laughs> Because of a fight I didn't start, I spent a month and a half in jail. Well, besides being accused of neglecting his daughter, Nick has also been accused of trying to strangle and attack Danielle's mother. Now, Kimberly says her goal is to get Danielle away from Nick because she fears He's not only a bad father, but is also controlling and abusive. Take a look. Danielle doesn't realize that Nick is ruining her life. There's no reason why Kimberly shouldn't like him. She's never given him a chance from day one. In Kim and her family's eyes, I'm a piece of Nick ran with gangs. He's a felon. He is a street person. Kim and her family's assumptions are completely based off the past. Kim tried to break us up numerous times. Kimberly keeps my daughter away from us because she does not like Nick. Nick is very verbally abusive with my sister and potentially abusive physically. Nick calls Danielle awful names, a bitch, a slut, a whore. He degrades her. Just because we argue doesn't mean we beat the out of each other. In almost 11 years of us being together, I've never called the police on Nick once. One time, a family member witnessed Nicholas hitting Danielle. On another occasion, my niece was hospitalized for an asthma attack. One of the hospital nurses witnessed Nick and my sister going at it and they notified the authorities. Kimberly accuses Nick of being very controlling and that's absolutely not true. Nick is obsessed with Danielle and controls every move my sister makes. Nick even tracks her cell phone. In spite of all Nick's issues, Danielle is too brainwashed to leave him. My ultimate goal is for her to separate from Nick completely. My sister needs to realize that Nick and I have been together for almost 11 years. We have two daughters and we're growing old together. Okay, you say you never attacked. So as far as the strangling, nowhere in the police report does it say that. That's false, completely. So what did happen? What happened was, and I, like I said, I don't want to speak too much into it yeah. because legally I am on probation for it. But you've been doing and great. I did plead out guilty to it from my part in it, and half of that was because I was withdrawal and I was a drug addict. So I was in a rush to get out because I'm sick and I don't want to sit in jail sick. Mm -hmm. And what I did in my part was I did separate them and I may have done it aggressively because I was concerned that my daughter was sleeping in the house and with them fighting and there's an open DCF case, I didn't want it to go on any longer. So yes, I aggressively put my hands on her and separated both of them. And because she didn't want me in the house, she used it to her advantage to, and there is a video clip of it. So mm -hmm. you separated who? Danielle and her mother. You say there's a videotape of it, but yeah. you, you couldn't find it? Oh, no, I have it. Oh, yes. Well, we asked you for it, and you, you said you couldn't find it. Well, I, I advised them that I don't want to send all of it in because it could be incriminating to other parties, and I don't want to put that in. Right. But I have no problem with it, you know, sending some of it. Because, I mean, it is irrelevant to this case anyways. They we're talking about our daughter. That's yeah. a fight between them two, like they said, well, it's a no, whole other show. Listen, it is relevant because we're talking about right. getting your daughter back exactly. to you. Right, yes. right. L listen, I'm, you, you guys keep misreading me. I'm about unification of family, Absolutely. not fragmentation yes. of family. I'm about unification. Right. Which I agree. And you keep acting like I'm trying to keep you away from your daughter. No, that is not the case. And you keep telling me what's not relevant. You don't know what's relevant in my mind and what's not. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to find out is what I have to work with, what I have to overcome. Mm -hmm. If you have impulse control problems, if you have anger problems, if you whatever problems you may have, anything you acknowledge, man, I am there to help overcome them because short term, long, whatever, I want you in your daughter's life. So there's nothing you can tell me that I don't do, I won't do anything but put on a to-do list.